I went to program some microcontrollers today and found out that the 5 volt output of my um, power supply was dead. At first I thought, you know, there's probably just a circuit breaker or a fuse or something in there. But it turns out there's actually a problem. So the 5 volt regulator board is here and if you, we're monitoring the output right now, which is, we're not getting anything, but if I tweak the board, there's the 5 volt regulated output. And if I let the board go, we're back down to zero. So there's obviously <clears throat> a part that became uh, a solder joint that broke or a trace that broke or something on there. So um, let's take a closer look. Uh, so this is all low voltage here, so I don't have to really worry too much about touching it. The input is here. This is coming from the transformer. This is an input of about uh, 9 volts AC or something. Uh, there's the bridge rectifier and the output is here going this way. There's one other component uh, the actual linear regulator which is uh, tied to a heat sink on the back and it's, it's off this board so it's using some kind of a it's got an IC on here to, to control the linear uh, the regulator so I'm not exactly sure what's wrong right now I, I'm suspecting that the solder joints between the large uh, leads on that bridge rectifier and the board um, you know cracked there's probably a really slight uh, breakage between the, the lead and the, and the PCB so what I'm going to do is get my soldering gun out and just reflow the solder between the bridge and the board. Let's see if that fixes it. And what do you know, it looks like my first guess was correct. So uh, all I did was um, just reflow the solder on this side of the board where those large leads go through. And I've been tweaking this thing around and, and I don't see any fluctuations at all in the voltage output. So um, their mounting method actually looked pretty good. There's a threaded standoff, this brass standoff in here, and there's a screw that comes in from through the bottom of the case into that standoff. So it pulls the, the rectifier down to the, down to the metal of the case. And then there's another screw from the top uh, on the other corner of the board. So I, I don't know if you guys have any opinions about that mounting method, but it sure looks like what happened is it's just through the minimal flexing that this thing is going to encounter that the uh, leads here are rigid enough where they actually basically pulled out from the from the PC board. The solder joint was under too much stress. Anyway, if you happen to have this same model power supply, uh, you may want to uh, keep that in mind, especially if you've been having trouble with the 5 volt output. Okay, hope that was helpful. See you next time. Bye.